Hello and welcome everybody to Ilana's Labs. Today, we're going to be looking at how to use OpenCV's min-max lock function. We will first use a simple array of numbers just to understand the function, and then we will use that knowledge to find the brightest spot on this image and draw a rectangle around it, all without hard coding the coordinates. All right, let's figure out how to work this with a very simple array. I'm gonna make a simple six by six array first. And I am going to set the random seed for this uh, at let's say 66. Execute order 66. If you manually look at this array, you can see that the minimum occurs over here and the maximum occurs over here. Now, using CV2 minmax lock is pretty simple. You just need to feed it the picture or the array in this case. Just remember that CV2 minmax lock cannot handle multiple channels, so don't feed it an RGB image, just give it a single channel. But we'll go through that in the second part of this video when we actually apply this to an image. Now we can see that it's picked out the minimum and the maximum, but the uh, coordinates are interesting because this is not row and column number, but rather X and Y coordinates. The first tuple inside this main tuple uh, is actually for the minimum. It's the location of the minimum. And let's uh, track this on the array. So it says, uh, if you say that's x equals 3 and y equals 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's, it's the same thing for 254 with x equals 4 and y equals 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so now that we understand what these uh, outputs actually mean, and we've seen its application to an array, a very simple array. Uh, let's actually figure out how this works on a picture. Let's first load up this image of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. What we want to do here is to draw a red box around this brightest spot on the image which we can see is somewhere around uh, x equals 300-ish and y equals 200-ish. But we don't want to hard code these coordinates. We want CV2 minmax lock to tell us where it is. Now, if he decided to use CV2 minmax lock on this image as it is, it will break. But what we can do to this image is to take it down to a single color channel by converting it into a grayscale image and then using CV2 minmax lock. Now that we have a single channel image, let's pass this into CV2 minmax lock. It says that the maximum appears somewhere around x equals 326 and y equals 190, which I would say is right at the nozzle of this rocket. What I'm gonna do next is to create two variables that will pull out the x and y coordinates of the maximum location, which will then help me to draw a box around this brightest spot. So I'm gonna whiz through this part, but if you want a tutorial on how to draw a rectangle, click the link on the top right hand corner of the screen. Okay, so we got the red box drawn right around the brightest spot of this image without having to hard code it, and now to add the finishing touches. Alrighty, so that is how you use CV2's minmax lock function. As you can see, it's not very complicated. Uh, by using the simple array, we were able to understand very clearly what these output means, including the slight quirks with the X and Y coordinates instead of rows and columns that we're kind of used to. 
And then after that, we managed to use that knowledge to lock on to the brightest spot of the image. You can use that to even lock on to the darkest spot of the image. It really depends on what kind of application you're working on. So if you found this video useful, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. Have a good day and I will see you on another Elanis Labs video.